Hey honey, it's Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or not whenever you're viewing this. And honey, welcome to another great mukbang. I have not did this place in like five or six months because I went back on my YouTube and what looked at all the videos I've done and I've not did this restaurant in five months. Can you believe that? Because I love their chicken. I love their chicken. I love it more than I do KFC. Kind of more than I do Popeye's. Um, I haven't had churches in like 10, 15 years. So, and churches is like an hour away, like 30 minutes away from me. I'm not going for that for some chicken, but I'll go for that for some damn Whataburger, though. So, we got some Bojangles. Yes, honey, we got some Bojangles. Um, so, let's do a thumbnail. There we go. So, last time I went to this place, I forgot to order a leg. So, I made sure I got the combo with the leg in it. Because I love me some chicken with... I love me some chicken with some legs. So, got the utensils and they put some napkins in there. <clears throat> well, I love the leg of a chicken. Let's just say that. All right, let's see what we got. Every time you get Bojangles, it smells freaking divine. It smells so delicious. Even when they hand it to you out the window and you just sit it in the floorboard of the car, and it still smells just as damn good. Mmm. And the crust of the chicken, the breading is so good. Look at that. Okay. The biscuits... Are so good. Mm. They're only missing the mm. Mm. damn, that's so good. They're only missing the cheddar in it, like red lobster. I might just have to damn wait a minute. Mmm. That's so good. I better save this for later. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. We got their macaroni and cheese. I'm usually not a fan of macaroni and cheese. Well, you know, in restaurants. Because I love making my own. But Bojangles has some good macaroni and cheese. <clears throat> then I got some dirty rice. Their rice is really good. I know everybody's about to be shocked when I said uh, I don't like macaroni and cheese. I'm like, yeah, the hell I do. Um, I just love Thanksgiving and Christmas when the holiday size comes. I don't care about the turkey or the ham, but the holiday size, bitch, I'm here. So where's my leg at? Okay. Damn, they gave it some extra crusting. Mmm. Can y'all hear that? Mmm. And I like their crust because, you know, when you get the original, I don't think they have original spicy or anything. I think there's chickens, just one chicken. One kind of chicken. Um, It has a little spice to it. I love it. Has that warm kick to it because I don't eat spicy food, but I, that warm kick is everything. Mm.
Damn. Uh, that's good. You gotta wash that kick down. Maybe have a little more biscuit with it. Well, yeah, honey. So this is lunch. But tonight, I'm, I'm, me and Denise is going to this nice restaurant. <clears throat> this nice Mexican, uh, not Mexican restaurant, but Chinese restaurant. We're going to it. I think it's called the Golden Sun. I've never been to it. I don't know if it's brand new or it's just brand new to me. But we're going there in Athens tonight. So that's going to be really good. Never tried their uh, their food out. Where in the hell? Oh, the damn, the damn forks in here. Well, I gotta eat the sides with something. Shit, can't eat it with a knife. It ain't Halloween. Jason can't eat. All right, so we're gonna try the rice out. Mmm. The rice has got a little cake. It hasn't kicked me on out yet. I'm mostly into size. Mmm. Either a sides or a side piece on the side, you know. Mm, you gotta have something. You gotta keep yourself being happy. You gotta have a side piece every now and then. Whenever you're going somewhere. Or, um, you gotta enjoy your sides like mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Speaking of mac and cheese, I'm not... I'm not uh, Bus is open. Okay, I can compare this to Golden Corral. Okay. It used to be good. It used to be better. But that's Bojangles. Um, have you guys ever tried the Kraft macaroni and cheese in the box that you get in the frozen section? That is so good. It kind of tastes like homemade to me. Mmm. But it's still good, though. I'm eating it. Originally, I was planning on going to Arby's, but they didn't have the Good Burger 2 meal. Because, you know, the Good Burger meal uh, movie is coming out uh, later on this month. This month. This month. It's going to be, um, it's going to have Ken and Kale in it. Um, those were my favorite two characters. On all that. The, um, what else? What else kind of shows that I love back then? The Amanda Show. Excuse me. Uh, Hey Arnold, Rugrats. That was my shit growing up. And I was kind of a half and half Disney and half Nickelodeon. I know some people were all the way Disney, all the way Nickelodeon, but I was half and half. My favorite time at night was to watch damn Nick at Night when they had the Brady Bunch, Andy Griffith Show. Um, what else? Uh, I Love Lucy. Gilligan's Island, um, the Dick Van Dyke Show, and I was into that, and All in the Family, uh, the list just goes on and on, the George Lopez Show, I love Nick at Night, but yeah, um, but yeah, those shows were really good, and watch, and to watch Ken and Kale bring back, uh, The Good Burger 2, I want to try that meal out for you guys, but my Arby's didn't have it. 
Um, damn. I guess the more you eat it, the more be uh, the better it is. I think the dirty rice is better than the macaroni and cheese. I'm going to tear into another piece of chicken. All right. Because now we got is uh, the breast. Mmm. The crust. Mmm. Mmm. So divine. Mmm. That'll make the pussy throb. Because it made mine. I think that's the first time I've said it to Bojangles, though. But I'm really digging the kick of the chicken. The little kick. Mmm. So good. What else was I going to talk about today? I didn't write shit down. I, I just went, I just raw dog this shit. I don't know what the hell I was talking about today. Oh. So I was doing, um, so you know we're doing the show in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta slash Swanee, Georgia. We're doing the Christmas show. Um, but I want you guys to say a prayer for, um, Amber. <coughs> She's gonna be one of the comedians at the show. She's having pneumonia at this time. And my heart goes out to her. I love you so much, honey. You got this. You're gonna overcome this. And we're going to be, and can't wait for all of us to be together on December the 9th in, in Swanee, Georgia. I'll say Swanee instead of Atlanta. <clears throat> um, I love hanging out with her. I love hanging out with Whitney. If you guys have not got your tickets or, or you, if you're coming, come on. The tickets are now available. The tickets will be in the description box below. Um, because we can't wait to see you. And it's going to be a variety show. So you never know what you might get. Some singers. Um, some comedians. Uh, holiday themed stuff. Um, door prizes. You never know. Mmm. No, oh, shit. I'm dropping chicken. Can't do that. But, honey, I hope you enjoyed this smut bang. As much as I enjoyed it being here with you guys. I love you so much. Keep staying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. I'm also on Cameo. So, if you guys want a holiday shout out for you, for your loved ones, for birthdays, anniversaries, or just cheering somebody up, I'm your bitch. So, go ahead and click the link in the description box below for a Cameo. Love you, honey. Mwah. Bye.